hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome if you're old here what's popping my g's if you're not subscribed please subscribe thank you okay so i remember to also give this video a thumbs up so we're still on this mini series of things i would have loved to tell my younger self yeah the next point is that you should get yourself in communities so while i said i didn't have a disciple or a mentor when i started my christian faith that the holy spirit himself mentored me and discipled me I was in communities. I was in, I, I made sure I always got, went for, you know, school fellowship. After school, I joined the church. I think most people, the reason why they easily fall is because they don't have that community. So I've always been in community gatherings, you know, um, church groups. When, I remember that when they say youth groups, every youth waits behind. I wait behind. I don't go home. Uh -huh. Some people need to hear this one. When they say youth group, please wait behind. Or if you're in this group, or if you're, wait, where are you rushing to? But we, we're waiting you won't go to the house <laughs> some people just can't wait they, they don't even care they just won't wait they, they can't be bothered i am i'm not that person okay so i've always loved being in communities because i've seen it in scripture that you know all these men you can't do life alone you need people that are on the same wavelength as you especially if you're coming from a family or a a place where they are not they don't believe the same thing you believe you need people that are on that wavelength with you and that's why god raised people like us to talk on social media not only me people every other person that is you know prominent social christian influencers on social media so that people can know that they are not alone so that people can know that you know, it's not only you that is trying to be sexually pure. It's not only you that is trying to serve God. It's not, you are not doing too much. You are not doing wasabi. That's why I like doing posts about that to remind people because it's something that I face. It's something that people told me, you know, ah, you are doing too much. That is your spirituality, spirituality. Mm -mm. Right? That's why at the core of my message, I love to remind people that you are not doing too much if you're doing it for God. Right? So that's why God raises people like us to talk to be here and be bold for him so that other people can see pictures of possibilities. So get in communities because you need communities of people. You need community of like-minded people, people like you get in communities, Christian communities, you could be joining online groups. You could be following those groups online. You could be your local church. When they say stop for a meeting, stop. When they say, oh, we are having a hangout with all that, you know, communicate with people. Let your friends be believers. In every phase of your life, God will give you different people. He will give you different people per season and on your journey in life. Like now I'm currently married and the friends I had when I was single, I still have many of my friends but like i'm not in that wavelength anymore so god i feel like god just knows how to shift you i don't know how to say it but getting communities like maximize not just getting maximize communities that you're in don't be too quick to dismiss don't be too quick to see the flaws you know you're like ah this church they don't do this one ah they don't do that because that's what i used to do when i was <laughs> when i was nearly a believer i would complain 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 about the church i would complain about how the church is not doing this they're not doing that but at the end of the day you yourself you're not perfect and the church is made up of human beings that are like you they're not perfect too so just leave it okay enjoy the relationships make room for people's errors and just enjoy it and let god do the rest because at the end of the day if you keep complaining and you keep you will not get anything out of life at the end of the day so yes um i'll say that about you know communities next one i want to talk about is trusting god there is um the thing is that when you're on a purpose journey and when you are, you know, trying to walk with God, you're going to have to learn to have crazy faith. <laughs> faith, you will have it because you will learn it by force. Um, I remember like when I was much younger, like maybe 10 years ago, nine, five years ago, a decade ago, I would always think about many things. I would worry about, I'm an overthinker, so I worry about a lot of things. And the thing is, you know that scripture when they say, the thing I have feared has come upon me. I have had situations like that where the thing I feared came and I did not die. I'm here. <laughs> so that thing that you're so afraid of is not going to kill you. Stop worrying. That's the first thing I'm going to say about that trusting God thing, about this trusting God topic. Stop worrying worrying is easy to do it's easy to just you know keep saying oh god oh what do i do like the devil will come with different thoughts when you want to do something when you're thinking about your life when you're thinking oh what if this man does this or what if my father dies or what if like many crazy thoughts have you ever 
being in a situation where you are <laughs> maybe you're trying to call someone the person's phone suddenly switches off everything and then the next thing that comes to your mind is what if they had an accident and something has happened to them why are you thinking those kind of thoughts i've been there so i know what i'm saying i'll just suddenly think oh what if something has happened oh what if they've been kidnapped crazy thoughts will just come to your head and it is not of god so worry is a tool of the enemy first of all it wants to um cripple you then put fear then put doubt in and you know and if you're in a purpose lane listen to me if you want to do purpose and you want to do god's will and you want to carry out god's mandate you have to learn to trust god trusting god is not easy it's not sweet it's not smooth but you can do it learning to trust god would lead you to you know go counter counter your normal thinking counter your normal process counter you go counter counter logical that's the word you'll be you'll be you because if you plan things logically it doesn't make any sense but when you are trusting god that trust will make you go counter logical so logically speaking a woman that's had an issue of, issue of blood for 14 years what would make her say let me touch the hem of jesus garment logically speaking someone that has not never been pregnant what would make her go and buy a a baby baby thing when they said oh buy baby things and act like your miracle it is trust like trust is crazy faith faith trust they are intertwined for the purpose of this video it's crazy you can't and you need radical faith to do god's plan you need radical faith to do anything for god you need to trust God, even when things look bleak, even when everything doesn't look right. I remember the lesson, the first time God taught me about money. I mean, I've always known that, yeah, God is a provider, God is a provider. But the very day, very, not even the months that I didn't get salary, I learned to trust God. I learned not to worry about money anymore. So there are things that God will teach you on the journey of faith that will lead you to trust him. You need to keep trusting him. I remember it was 2020, COVID year. And I had one 10k in my account. And I remember DDK's firebrand, firebrand um school, firebrand prayer, fire ah, what have I forgot? Firebrand Forerunners. That's the name of the Firebrand Forerunners Bible School. That's the name of the school. So it was ten thousand naira. I don't know how much it is now, but then it was ten thousand naira. The second cohort, um, DDK had posted that, oh, if you want to join and the Holy Spirit is saying, join, join, join. I say, ah, no, 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 I only have 10k in my account. Why will I join? Which guy set up with this one? He said, just use that 10k and pay. And I was like, what was going on? Eventually, I think it was like some days to the closing that I eventually paid. I was like, God, I trust you. This last 10k in my account, I used it to pay. And I paid. And as soon as I paid, you guys, the next, I think maybe the next day or the next week, I can't remember again, someone just sends me money and she says, I felt led to send it to you. I was like, you say? and then that was sent me money that period people were just sending me money and i don't like sharing stories like this because some people will now say oh let's give so that god can send people to give us back no i don't like all this transactional transactional relationship when it comes to money matters but i cannot deny it that's what happened but i had to learn trusting god first it's not that i was giving it because i wanted I, god was like do you trust me do you believe i can provide for you I say, ah, he said, you have food to eat, Abby. I say, I have food, truth. Hey, you have water to drink. I say, that's true. Don't worry. Just drop the money. And it was crazy, but that's what happened. I was able to, I did not die. I'm here today. God has provided over the years. <laughs> so when I say trust God, I know it's in the talk. <laughs> when God gives you those instructions, believe him and don't worry. Worrying is like, top notch like when situations happen you lose a job maybe something happens maybe baby anything can happen in this life but trust god so i hope that that blessed you and i just really want to encourage someone that when situations happen when things don't go the way you expect it to go because look at joseph joseph was in prison but yet he was still helpful that nature of just being a helper that nature of just you know staying true to his purpose interpreting dreams he still continued he didn't allow that to deter him. He didn't allow the condition of what was going on in his surrounding to deter what is going on on the inside for him.
we must stay true to ourselves and choose joy so that even you know no matter what is happening you would understand that joy is a spirit and joy comes from god and if joy comes from god you can you can maintain no matter what is happening you will just stick to your convictions stick to joy stick to joy stick to joy things will come that will affect your faith but stick to joy all right, guys, I hope you've been blessed by this particular series. Thank you so much for watching. If you watched up until this moment, um, thank you so much. Love you guys. And yeah, see you in my next video.